This is just a quick video for the BTB and Bean Sprout Lab. You're going to need 10 beans per student group. In our case, we're using lima beans, and that'll, that's what's in the kit. But you can use a variety of other type of beans, including things like bush beans or pinto beans or red kidney beans. Even the stuff found at the store works fine. So what we're going to do is take our lima beans, and we're going to soak them in warm water for at least 12 hours. We want to make sure that the beans are submerged on the plate. Um, the optimum time here though is closer to 20 hours and you can leave them up to 24 but they will start to mold after that. After your bean seeds have been soaking for about 20 to 24 hours, the next thing you're going to want to do is take a damp paper towel not soaking wet and not dry and you're going to want to take your soaked bean seeds from your plate or wherever you had them and you're going to sprinkle them on the, paper, the damp paper towel making sure they're in a single layer and you're going to want to fold the paper towel so that each side of the bean seeds are actually being touched by the paper towel but that they're also not going to fall out of it so I just kind of fold it like that and then fold it over. And then the next thing you want to do is take uh, a zip top bag and go ahead and stick your bean seeds and the damp paper towel in the zip top bag. And then, you know, if you have multiple paper towels for each of your student groups, you can stick them all in the same bag or in a couple bags. Then you're going to want to seal the zip top bag and place it in a warm area for at least 24 hours. It's better if you can get to 36 and actually get the seeds to start sprouting. After your 36 hours in a warm location in the damp paper towel, you can go ahead and your bean seeds will be ready to use. You can either have individual plastic bags for your, each of your student groups or you can just hand them the damp paper towel in order to do the experiment. Um, your sprouted bean seeds um, will be ready to go and you can just take the 10 out and put them directly into the condiment cup for the experiment. Just a quick tip when you're doing the actual experiment, when you um, put the condiment containers within the zip top bags, you just want to make sure that you actually open them up so that there's air from the room within the bag. And then you just want to carefully place each of the condiment containers in there, still making sure that there's air from the room in there. And then you can go ahead and seal it. And then your experiment should be ready to go.